There is a crisis brewing at one of our facilities. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put it out, stop any casualties, and prevent more damage. Use emergency services button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Uh, emergencies. Can I take both? Sure. So, hello everyone and welcome back to Prison Architect. This is part 2 and this is campaign 2. Are they going to go or do I have to like order them around? Oh my god, this is kind of strange. So, click right to order your fireman to move. Firemen will arm horse at nearby fires. Okay, can I control like select all of them? No. Okay, I can select all of them here. Go, 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 guys. And you? Go, go. Oh my god, this is really becoming a problem. Fast! Guys? Um... So, all right, there we go. Holy crap, that's a lot of water. What's your aim like? Holy crap. Don't be a soldier. My god. All right, we are going in. So it deselects them after I issue a command, which is kind of strange, but all right. So let's move up here, you guys move up, quick, kill it with water before the already burns down the prison, alright, I think we've got this under a decent control, and what are these guys doing? Oh, I can mine. Uh, I can aim my hoses manually. How do you do that? Wait. H. No idea. Never mind. All right, that's done. Move up, move up. I like how the hoses are stretched out. It's, it makes for a cool effect, effect, which I quite like. All right, guys. Okay. All right, all right. We've got this. No problem. The sound is really loud here, but I guess I will edit it to be a bit more manageable for the, your ears, because... <laughs> These guys are either like, yay, a fire, or really scared. <laughs> Not really sure, but this is kind of interesting. Right, that's it, I guess. Are there any flames left? Am I somehow, somehow blind or not seeing it? Oh, there is one more fire there. Nice. My god, there is a survivor in the wreckage. What? Did he hide in the wash machine or something? Come on, man, what the heck happened? There is no fire anymore, but alright. Christ on a crutch. It's Don Palermo. Of all the inmates, it just had to be our mob boss. Oh, great. The bad news for him is that budget cuts have meant we had to sack all our permanent doctors. The good news is our infirmary is still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they will take care of Don Palermo while we sort this mess out. Alright, we need to clear up this mess. <laughs> yup, we do. 
Use the bulldozer tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You need to remove all the debris. Oh, that's that hurts. And the designated garbage adjacent to the road. Our work will will dump the wreckage for, uh, there for a garbage truck. Finally, you can send those firemen home now that they have done their job. I've added more details on each of those objectives into your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Oh, can I do it like this? Yeah, I can. So, bulldoze. No, first let's designate the garbage area. Nice, because without this it would be pointless to like bulldoze all this shit. Can I do it like this? I probably can. Well, this will take a bit of time. Hire more workmen to speed demolition. Three? Okay, see you is called. Demolishing those buildings will take a while. You can t pass the time more quickly. Yes, I know. Whoops, it's easy. Doctor. How do you hire? Oh, that's how. Uh, where is the infirmary? I'm actually not that sure. Jesus. Here. How many doctors do I need? Buy more workmen? Oh, it doesn't actually say. Oh, okay, I have it made. Alright, I really had to fire, not fire, but call in a bunch of them, but alright. Can I? Okay, I can deselect. My god. Why are they like... They are starving, yeah, alright, I guess, but guys, come on, give me a slack. It's not like it's easy. Alright, we can actually speed this up, because it's pointless to watch them. I mean, they are not going to riot, right? That would be so idiotic if they rioted, because they knew it burned down. Like, in case of such event, it should be a... Little obvious that it won't be very easy. Alright, just the canteen to clear. Alright, that's it. Oh, the chief is calling. Shh, good work. Let's check up on our casualty. <gasps> oh, ho. There we go. Here we go. He's done for. Or not? Yeah. I think he's trying to say something. Which of you cocksucking, fungus banging Brad Pitt motherfuckers did this? <laughs> no one did this to you, puppy. It was an accident. Yeah, sure, Nico. Shut your stinking mouth and listen to good, the both of you. If I knew which of you fucks started that fire, I'd snap your stinking neck. But my time is done. I'm going to die in this fucking bed. And there is a family business to run. The Palermo name is all we've got left. So you do your honorable thing, you dirty piece of shit fucks. Capisce? <laughs> we know what to do, pups. Oh, there will be problems with the with those two, right? Yep, there we go. Watch your fucking back. This isn't over, Nico.
without food. This inmates will be turning the walls down with a couple of within a couple of days. We've got to secure the prison before we end up with a riot on our hands. This is the deployment screen. From here you can control the tactical deployment of all your guards. Deploy a spread of guards to all cell blocks and rooms. Assign ten guards to stations around the prison. That should be sufficient show of our strength for now. I also want a patrol around the inner country theater, where we will be building the new facilities. At the time you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and your additional instructions. Thank, th thank you, chief. All right. Let's deploy some guards. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Uh, seven. Eight. Nine. Where else? Uh, nowhere really. Maybe like here. And some guards patrol. One, two, three, four. Wait a sec. How do you do this? Click and drag. All right. <laughs> I failed that one. Okay. Can I like connect those? I guess I can. I will figure it out at a later date. We've we have a lot of work still to do. We need to turn our attention to replacing the kitchen and canteen. First, we need to rebuild the kitchen. You'll need to install several pieces of equipment and hire some chats. Once that's done, build a new canteen. Once you have all that completed, the chats will automatically start preparing meals for the entire prison. If you aren't sure what to do, then a time, try highlighting the objective in to-do list. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. How many more times you will say that? Build a kitchen, build a canteen. Okay, do they have to be in the same rooms is actually what I'm thinking. Oh, never mind. Also, so, so. Let's make a pimped out canteen and kitchen. I'm not actually sure if I have enough money for that, but who cares, right? Where are the entrances? Jail door. Is that it? Not really. Solitary door, no doors. Yeah. Uh, wait, how did you rotate? Like this. I mean, it would be really inconvenient if I didn't have multiple entrances here, so I think that should be enough. Speed this up. I'm actually not sure if I will have to like separate canteen from the kitchen, but I guess I will, because that would be stupid not to. So let's do this. Concrete wall. Like here. Hopefully that will be enough. Are there cables? I guess I will find out very soon. Objects, door, here and here, rooms, kitchen, done. Now for the installation of at least four cookers and four fridges. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I don't know why I separated this, never mind. Install a kitchen sink, of course. I guess it can be in the middle. Connect the sink to the water mails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Improve the kitchen floor. I mean, I guess I can do this, like... I don't see a problem with improving my flooring. Paving stone? No, come on. Wooden floor, concrete floor, mosaic floor. Yay. Let's do that. Now I will need some electricity and some of my... What do you call this? Utilities. Yes, 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 yes. With a small pipe I guess that's enough for a sink. 
Don't I need electricity? Yeah, I do. Nice, that should be enough. Hire at least eight cooks. Sure thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Alright. And a canteen. Doop -de doop -de doop There we go. Two serving, six tables. Yep, there we go. Serving table. I guess we can make it like up here. Uh, table, table, table. One. How many? Six, two, three, four. And for the lonely dudes. And six. It's at least six, so. Should be enough. Benches. Oh my god. Chill out, guys. Improve the canteen floor. Sure thing. Ceramic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoops. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, really? They don't... Utilities. There is not enough power for that? How come? Do I have to, like, connect those? I guess I have to. It's kind of strange. I think I really messed up. I think I just didn't connect those. Never mind. It's working. Been in the canteen. Oh, I didn't see that one. I mean, I guess beans would be nice. Here and here. And then go to the canteen. Seriously, guys, you can eat, like, there is food here. Oh, the chief is calling. Everyone, shut up. You would not believe what I've just been told. What? Oh my god. Our guys were dumping some of the old foodstuffs. They discovered a pack of narcotics and bottles of alcohol hidden in the crates. Oh my god. We had suspected the Palermo family of smuggling into the facility for some time now, but we had never been able to determine how. Really? You haven't checked the food? Never mind. Some days it just doesn't rain. It pours. Pours? Pours. Alright. Don Victor Palermo, boss of one of the East Coast's most feared mob families. The Palermos eluded the FBI for decades. Anthony Palermo, the Don's eldest son and natural hair, run the day to the, the run day to day operations. Nico Tomoetti wasn't a made man, but was wel welcomed into the family business when he married the Don's only daughter, Vitalia. And Sonny Palermo, the Don's second son, the round of the litter, temper like a pit bull, and only half as smart. The Empire ran the narcotics trades from Maine to Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in a flagrante delicato. Delicto. <gasps> oh. Oh, I see. Shot dead by a jealous husband. Unfortunately for the family, police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine in Anthony's sports bag. <gasps> The evidence led straight to the top. <laughs> okay. Overnight, everything the Palermo family has had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure that they'd all rot in jail. Vitalia is like, mm, um, um. What? Never mind, guys. I will just stay here in my house with Bart, not Bart, with jailed windows because, hey, 
We like jail. Which leaves Vitalia, the Dawn's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. We don't know much about her, other than she was always kept outside the family business. But somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in. I mean, she was kept outside of the business, but when there was no more business, I guess she could be like... Never mind. We could have quite a serious narcotic problem on our hands here, but we can't deal with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running, our chest will walk and on preparing food for everyone, which should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clearly deliberate, and we don't want a repeat of that. Install a sprinkle system over the new kitchen and canteen and connect them to the water mains. Yeah, I guess that's... good. <laughs> Uh, all prisoners have needs. Those needs directly impact how your prisoners behave. Right now, everyone is starving hungry, and that's what all this shouting has been about. Food is one of our highest priority needs, and you ignore it at your own peril. A prison is just a few failed meals away from a wall-to-wall -wall riot. You can monitor the needs of all your prisoners from the needs report, which you can normally access through the reports icon in the bottom right. Thank you, Chief. Oh, there we go. Oh, recreation is also bad, I think. Yeah. Alright, this report has combined needs of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about that particular need not being met. As you would expect, food is red for virtually everyone, but these prisoners are also very bored. Recreation need. And the prison is a pretty shabby state, which is reflected in their environment and clothing needs. It's your decision as a resident prison architect which needs you will try to attend to first. You could install the televisions in their cells to keep them occupied and hire some janitors to clean the place up. Or you can just ignore your prisoners' needs altogether and rely on force to keep your prison under control. Okay, I'll leave it up to you. Okay guys, so I think this is a good place to stop this episode. We have stopped the immediate crisis. And yeah, next time we will try to see to our prisoners. We'll see how we deal with all their problems. So yeah, thank you a lot for watching and I will see you in the next episode. If you liked this episode, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <gasps> James, no! Uh, Edward, no! I knew I'd catch you to here. Edward, I... Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Big clock. <gasps> Headshot. Multi-kill.